Alright, welcome to Digimon Tamers Heroic Battle Spirit. This game does have a multiplayer mode, but we're not going to see that. Thank God. <laughs> well, it lets you see more than a Digimon we're going to play the game with when we actually get this thing started. Nice. So I gotta say, right off the bat, um, I kind of like the art just because it's easy to make pixelated art look pretty good, but I still have my reservations. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This game has dialogue options. Oh, good. Thank, thank <laughs> goodness. I was about to ask. I was about to be like, hey, Dosi, the dialogue options, man. <laughs> we'll get to it eventually. Oh, and there's a there's a time uh, mechanic here as well. Great. I actually don't know what the time mechanic actually does. It's for speed running. Yeah, probably, probably. I mean, <laughs> it sure isn't showing my PC time. That's far as I can tell. Well, no, it's going at a, a minute a second. <laughs> oh my god. It's like they did time and position sensitive uh, speech bubbles, so it's like, oh, oh great, this guy, this common writer is going to kill you. Yeah, he's a Digimon, don't you know? No, I've never seen this. Oh, great. He's Mechamon. I don't believe you. Yeah. Can you, can you duck at all? No, you cannot. Of course not. Ducking is reserved for good games. <laughs> In fact, sometimes you'll see me walking like that and not actually going forward, because this game's controls are kind of skewered. Now, we do have a mini-map, which is useless to us, so don't bother with that. We got the little three icons, looks like it buttons off to the side. I really don't know what they do. The mini-map only shows you the exact amount of what's on the screen already. Well, it's got zoom option, but I said it, no, it's still useless to me. Alright, how do we jump down? I don't know yet. I'm trying to figure that out. <laughs> uh, Game of the year. Actually, I'm trying to figure out how to get the wheel, the wheel thing to work. Because it's, I believe, left, uh, what button was on the keyboard here? Game Pro, it's... RB? Yeah, it's LB to bring up the wheel, then RB to actually select something from the wheel, if you're using the gamepad. Your only response is oppressive silence. This game is trying to oppress you, man. Oh, and then here's another guy. We haven't actually met a, the villain yet, or one of the villains. Don't worry, the scenery gets a little better. Since I'm done exploring it, at least. Yeah, sure it does. It does. It gets slightly better. All right. Ooh, what's this green thing? Oh, a Digicore fragment. Huh. Oh my god. All right. We don't need all of this. Oh, what the? Wait, what? That's a sub weapon. I I know, but it's it's the exact same sub weapon you would find in the game this game is based on. Yes. And you can see I got stuck. They're trying to go right. And now throw another axe. Splendid. <laughs> now we do have one more move, which is right there, a fireball. That takes the uh, green thing, which is stamina, which does restore after a while. Yeah, that's what you got the Digicore fragment of. Yes. Oh good, hearts. Oh yeah. Because they give you HP. Oh, they do? Well, at least that's different. Yeah, so... Oh, it makes it good because it allows us to heal ourselves. Right. Yeah. We're not going to go that way yet. Maybe I will. Make up your mind! <laughs> I'd like to, I mean... What's that black area over there I want to see? Yeah. Me too. Let's go for yeah. it. Oh, we are. We're going to find out what's in it. Oh, it's a, a blue Digicore fragment. Now? It's your sub-weapon meter. That's what it does. 
It was because if you notice when we we're throwing the axe, the blue number started going down. And if we run out of that blue number, we we can't use a sub weapon anymore. I gotcha. And yeah. uh, does that go up or? No. Great. Yeah, it's not like stamina. It's not going to recharge itself. It's again like Castle Venue and its sub weapon meters. Oh, so now you're in. I, I'm I'm ex expected to believe now you're in a new area, right? Yeah. See. That's not going to get annoying at all. The wavy effects? Yeah. It's actually pretty decent because it shows you where the programming stops for the area. <laughs> yeah, I suppose that's true. I hadn't thought of that. You can even see the enemies uh, above us that won't do anything until we enter their zone. Ugh. Oh yeah, and the bottom of our screen has got dialogue between us and whoever the villain of this section is. Oh, Devimon. Okay, I know who that is. Yeah. He's their primary antagonist for uh, Season 1. I was a child once. I know what Digimon are. <laughs> but... These guys are our primary enemy types for this game. Okay. Yeah, there's very few of them. Well, very few other enemy types here besides the bosses. And of course we gotta go left. And get hit by an enemy that's off our screen. That's called good game design. Okay, <laughs> hold on. This castle is on an island? No way. And with no way off either. Darn. Darn. Yeah, this is from one of the screenshots of this game, so I thought I'd show you guys it. Make that the thumbnail for the video. <laughs> Darn. And of course, we can temporarily save the game if we wanted. Oh yeah, it's it's a quick save. That's cool. So like, if you have to, you gotta run, but you can't yeah. just save. Yeah. Oh, and that enemy is about to become real. Great. <laughs> yeah. Now the thing is, their weapons can go can go into that non-programmable area too and still get you. But there's really nothing here. Um, there's only one way to get to the boss. Everywhere else just leads to like bonus items. And. If you notice, the soundtrack is one of those ambiance soundtrack. Yeah. Some of the best music is ambiance. Oh, uh, yeah. It just needs to be a little more atmospheric than it does. Now, there's an axe over there, but I'm not going to bother getting it. There's too many people in the way. So, what do you think of the game so far, though? Um, I think it it could be a little bit more fast-paced, and they could still get away with what they're trying to do. But, I mean, it looks good. As far as I can tell, it needs a lot more polish, too. But again, it is a demo. Yeah, it is. But polish is always nice. I just hope that when they say demo, they mean something like, other game demos, which are just like the bare bones, and then the real game is great. <laughs> uh, that could very well be true. Is do you know what uh, version of the game this is? I I honestly do not know. This is the <laughs> Act Two, as it as it was called when I downloaded it. Because mm -hmm. I oddly enough I had Act One of the game downloaded previously when I had when I tried this game out months ago. Thank God it has no voice acting because the voices from Digimon were terrible. Oh, you don't know terrible until I I have another. No, there's no voice acting in this game. You're right, but there is terrible voice acting in one of the games I have planned for later. Okay. Yeah. But as you're not going to see that this weekend, don't worry about it. So for the folks at home. Uh, 
do you actually get to the boss of this first castle? Is that where the game ends? No, actually, this game goes on beyond that first boss. Oh, no shit. That's cool. Now we're all getting stuck again. In fact, we'll actually be seeing the first boss fairly soon. He's not too far away. Good. Good. <laughs> Kick Devimon's ass. Of course, we still gotta get that green data orb up there. Or Digicore. <laughs> now, I like approaching these guys from behind because they can hurt quite a lot if we, if I go to them from the front and I don't have a high enough jump to actually avoid them. Oh, I bet. They look like real assholes. I mean, you saw at the beginning when I ran into the first gun, I tried to jump, but it didn't work. God, this game is so wavy, we get it. This is not the same area that we were in already. I think I understand why they did this, just because they want to make it all on one plane. Oh, look, there's the save statue. I hope it doesn't have to be stupid. <laughs> oh, you don't know, man. Yo, you don't know. That was a close one. Hey, Stevimon. <laughs> He's so pixelated. Welcome to the game save. <laughs> I like it. I like it enough to see it two more times right after this. Oh, well, we probably will. Oh, God. <laughs> I was joking. Oh, man, we have to go back. Ugh. Oh, yes. This game is truly, truly outrageous. Because the thing is, to activate the uh, save point, you just have to w walk by it. There's no action to initiate. You just touch it. Is he just throwing out hands? Yes. Great. And our fireballs do not work on him. That would make things too easy. <laughs> yeah, but he's uh, he's tough. Although I make it look easy. Now the axes can hurt him though, but I'm dead. Hey, you made it look so easy. Luckily you had to save like 30 times in a row. Oh good, <laughs> and the music is still here. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thankfully I was able to avoid hitting that safe statue again when I came back. I just blast them with axes. Well, I'll run out of axes before too long, though. So we can't swipe him like so, but we only get a couple. We can only get a couple of hits on him before he starts shooting arms at us, and we have to avoid him like crazy. But thankfully, the axes do take a large amount of health off. They him. sure do. Go axes. But this is this boss in a nutshell. If you use a neutron bomb, I bet it wouldn't take long at all. I bet it would wipe us out too, though, wouldn't it? Probably. Yeah, see, when he gets into that middle area there, mm -hmm. he, uh, he's too high for us to actually hit him because his hitbox is where that... If, you, you, if you've seen an orange orb lying around when he teleports out... Oh, that's out, his hitbox? Yes. That's stupid. It's purple, but yeah. Yeah, so you have to hit that to actually hurt him. <laughs> I'm kind of regretting not speeding this up now. <laughs> <laughs> this is all gold. So would you be able to hit him multiple times while he's standing there? Yes, if you go up to slash him, you can hit up to two to three times, but you gotta be quick before he starts shooting arms at it again. Because the easiest way to avoid them is to be on the other side of the room and just not be on their plane when he shoots them. Right. It does but seem like they have uh, independent tracking of you, which is kind of cool. Well, they only track you when they first come out or when they spawn in. Right, but like... If you're in one place, if you're jumping while they're both coming out, then one will track where you were when it came out, and the next one will as well. Huh. Okay, that is interesting. 
And of course, I'm being very careful because I'm down to 20 health, I think. Yes. And these things take a lot of health off you if they hit you. <laughs> but believe it or not, this is one of the quicker boss fights in this game. I don't believe it. <laughs> oh, just you wait. Now, of course, I'm not going to attempt when he's up there because there's no way how I'm going to be able to hit him. <laughs> I think I like, was it two more hits left so we can wipe him out? Uh, yeah, it looks like it. I really would have expected more from Devimon since... I mean, he's a de uh, de was a digital devil, and he was like a big part of a couple of the series. You know, like he was being was a part of Chimeramon? Yeah. Whoa, what the heck is that? That's our exit. Taken straight from Chrono Trigger. Wait, this is the exact same place you you woke up in in the first place. The map looks exactly the same. Yeah, I didn't notice that at first. <laughs> Even though, um, you know, Agumon here pretty much told us that it was, except now it's different. So, how long can we stay underwater? I don't know. There's no uh, breath meter that I can tell. Great. Alright, let's touch the tattoo. <laughs> uh, I don't know why you'd add that kind of thing in your game for a save. And yes, this area is a carbon copy of the place we just ca we just came from. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I have to save so much. Oh yes. Don't worry, we're almost out of here. See? Just do a little more exploring, see if there's any digital cores lying about. Spoiler alert, there weren't any. No, there isn't. This place is bereft of enemies too. But there's a slight reason I think that this is here. I'll leave that to you to decide when we actually reach that point. But... It's exactly like the castle butt. And you still have that ambiance music. And you still get the... the waviness. I am right behind you. So, see, are we playing one of those creepypasta games? No, but yes, I do know those creepypasta games do exist. And I can't figure out for life of me why. This is like the a blood whistle, where like you you blow it and everybody dies. No, we're not going to see a jump scare. All right, if we do, we'll be very upset with you. <laughs> uh. Oh, platforming. Oh. Yeah. Platforming, we don't have to do. No. There is nothing in this zone. The whole point is just to make it to where you got to the boss. That's it. Because there's a special prize waiting for us in the boss room. Pop scare! No, not really. Or is it? You know exactly where to go. <laughs> I know, but... I can't help it. I gotta see if there's a core around here. I know. Uh, it's an affliction. That's what it is. I think right. Yeah, you can see where I decide I fucking just keep going. You're just like, you know what? I would rather just finish this so my old buddy Crab Apples doesn't have to watch more of me running around into nothing. Thank you, Tosi. You're a real friend. Oh, what the heck? Okay, I was wrong. This is a creepypasta. Oh, no. There we go. We're dead.
This is exactly like the first two areas. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, this one's different. This one, we have to go directly past it to get through. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where the heck you are. Oh, no! <laughs> this is the worst. I don't even know why that's there. That is a lot of hammer or of axes you just threw there. Yeah, and you notice it took away all our magic, right? And in fact made us negative nine on magic. How do we get our next villain? And it's Renamon. That's not how you spell Renamon. Oh no. No. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was gonna send us to the other thing. Yeah, this area's gimmick is teleporters. And of course, uh, Renamon is torturing somebody, but we don't know who it is right now. How she's torturing them is she's just making them uh, walk into a room full of save statues. <laughs> now, if you notice, Akamon's moving extra slowly because we're underwater. Yes. That is this room's gimmick right here. And we now have music, which is nice. Yeah, it's Castlevania music, too. But note how the enemy doesn't slow down. They can go just as fast as they were outside of the water. Of course they can. It's selective slowing. <laughs> and we can't double jump in water because that would make sense. Yes. In fact, we do not get increased jump height in water like you do would in most games. So? You really picked a winner here. <laughs> yeah, I did. Let's go see what this teleporter goes to. Ever so slowly. Oh, it goes here. At least the music's alright, not bad. I hate you so much. <laughs> hate me all you want, man. You missed it! Yes, I did. But, you're gonna find out we really don't need these teleporters later on. We don't need them now, but you went back for it, so I expected you to hit it. <laughs> uh, true, true. Oh, health. Thankfully, yes. And, uh, swirl it, we do spend a fair amount of time in this particular room. Because the exit's right there, right? Yeah, of course. But I don't know how to get that at the moment. Of course not. <laughs> no. Bezzers... Oh. Who else is working with? <laughs> Yeah, we got my Otis Mon. So basically, this game takes place on a fairly large island. Big island with a castle on it. Yes, of course. Just like any other Castlevania game you've ever played. Oh yeah, you remember that thing in that night burn we were just in? Yes. That's coming after us now. I'm so excited. <laughs> we finally get to die. I don't know if you ever watched Digimon, Yossi, but this is not how Renamon was at all. No, I know. I've seen... What's it? Season 4? 
tamers. Yeah. With yeah, tamers with the um, with the digivirus or the whatever the hell it was called that Friday went after everybody. And of course, she won't tell us who she's working for. Of course not. Hello. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh yes. We're gonna hit the teleporter. Oh. Oh. Don't worry. I, if you notice, I cut a lot of backtracking <laughs> out because I spent a good a good amount of time in this room trying to figure it out. Oh okay, great. So yeah. glad. But I had to keep the I had to keep the dialogue train because you had to see the chat the the exciting <laughs> chat. Yeah, it is kind of cool how they do that where you can talk to the enemies during the the game. <laughs> They're being Nicholas Cagey. Ah, uh, the bees. Not the bees. Alright, so? You spent nine whole hours of in-game time playing this. That's only about nine minutes in real time. Oh, by the way, if you take a close look at our character, you notice that there, we're actually overlapped on top of another spider ourselves. Yes, I saw that. I don't know what causes that bug. Oh, and we were supposed to run and jump the whole time to reach up there. Oh my god. <laughs> but now that I know, we go faster. Now, so the cool thing about having an overlapping character is we can shoot two fireballs at once. We can do the animation multiple times. Oh well, yeah, but the second one's slightly delayed. Right. It's because... Oh my god. So how did, how did we be make two of ourselves? I forget that plot point. I don't know how, it just happened. It actually happened when we first got into this zone. So it was probably just improperly loaded the level, if anything. This game having having loading problems? Oh, I, I doubt that. Uh, yeah, like I said, this game is pretty bad for a demo. With such stable saving, you'd think the loading would fall right into place. <laughs> Yeah, you would, wouldn't you? But no. You don't... Oh my goodness. You don't put obstacles in the way that are easily avoided, but they take forever to kill. That's not game design. Well, I can't really avoid him. Well, you can avoid his shots, I mean. Yeah, but then if I get close, he's gonna fire on me and I'll get knocked back. Exactly. They're easily avoided, but very hard to dispatch without resources. Which you yes. didn't have because you already killed a bunch of them. <laughs> of course, there's always mana stuck behind the penis shaped hole. You know, you didn't have to say it like that. Fine, magic stuck behind the penis shaped hole, whatever. Okay, maybe, maybe I wasn't clear, you didn't have to call it a penis shaped wall. Oh. Oh no! <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh yes. We got lucky with that one. We only had to save twice there. Yes. Right, time to take on the boss. Spider... Mod. I don't know what it is, honestly. <laughs> oh, okay, so the boss, you use these here to... Okay, that's neat. Yes, you teleport around the room and hit the boss to avoid his lasers. But, unlike Devimon, you can't slash it because its hitbox is too high up. Wait a second. Yes? No! <laughs> uh.
Well, yes, in fact, we did rescue Renamon, who we were talking to as the villain. And of course, we sped this up, because this is a tedious fight. The music that was there during the fight sounded very, very, very close to Rules of Nature. Oh. No, this this fight does not match up with Rules of Nature at all. Thank God. You have this sped up, and it's still taking forever. Yeah, this is 300% sped up. You want to know how long this thing actually took? Um, I can see. It took like... Looks like 10 minutes or so. Judging by how long it's been. It's 8 minutes. God damn. Yeah, that's what I say. Is this music that you, is this your music you put into it? <laughs> yes. Good. Sounds good. Thanks. Man, I had to speed up, but you didn't. I didn't. You didn't want to hear the game soundtrack sped up, did you? No. But this is the uh, gist of this fight. This boss shoots lasers, you avoid it, and you just fire when you can. In fact, we're nearly dead already. I can see that. That was a close one. <laughs> yeah. The big issue is, if you get hit with the sky's lasers even once and you're off to the side, a lot of them will actually hit you over and over again. Yeah. But at least we almost have them. Good job avoiding him so far, at least. Oh, nope, dead. Well, that was, a uh, Battle Spirit. No, that is ex no, that is- that was Rules of Nature. <laughs> oh my god, ugh.